Hey, hello everyone, Bruno here, and today I want to talk about Copilot. The other day I was doing a live stream and I show how I use Copilot a lot to improve my user interface in, in Blaze for applications. So let me show you today how this works. And we have also agents today, today which makes the experience literally an amazing experience. So let's take a look. I have here a chat application. This is a Blazor application used running with Aspire. So I am going to fast forward a couple of things here and there. But right now, let me show you how the apps works. So this is the application, Aspire dashboard. I open the chat, and the chat I have 2 plus 2. It's basically showing the user and the responses here. And it used a lot of, I think there were, I am using divs or something. This is the main code that we have here. And it iterates in a collection of messages using divs to show anything, everything, depending if we are using user. A user message or assistant message is going to show more, and it doesn't have any style at all. So what I am going to do, I am going to work with Copilot in order to ask some questions. And I am also going to use agents. Agents are an amazing new features that we have. If you already use edits, it's kind of the next step where what we can do here is we can drop literally a set of instructions or a set of questions or more, and the agent will generate a plan to solve this. So I am going to add the two files that I have here. I have two files here, home and razor, and my prompt is a big prompt here. I'm going to ask to other styles that they should be similar to a chat user interface. The, the assistant message should be aligned to the left, the user message should be aligned to the right, use different colors, uh, the button and the chat and the text box should be also chat style, extract everything in a CSS file. So I am going to run this and this is going to take some time. So I'm going to fast forward until it has some results. Okay, first interesting things that the copilot agent is going to suggest changes, but we are the ones who need to accept the changes. So here we see that it has all of the styles in a refer in external file, and also I need to basically keep the changes. When I do this, the next step will be to start to apply it. It's going to generate the deeds, the changes, the changes in the home file. So let's wait for the next part of changes. It is still working, but this is nice. So we see that we have we see that we have some changes in the setting file, in the home file, a new file with the styles, but also now we have it's still syncing because somehow it's found some problems in the razor file. And this is the part which is interesting about agents that is going to try to solve the problem. So we need to be with them, we need to help them to move forward, but somehow it's not recognizing the interactive servers in Blazor, also didn't recognize the page title. There are probably some null reference here. So let's keep it working to see what else we have here. Okay, so it did a lot of things. And I fixed a couple of imports, invalid imports and more, but let's take a look. So added a lot of us. If we see the, the files that we change, it also makes sense here because we have three files, the home changes, the setting changes, and the chat app with the style. So we are fine there. We also have a lot of divs and more. I think somewhere here we are. We have an extra. I need to double check here in a bigger monitor probably because we have some extra characters. I'm guessing that we are having something incorrect here. We probably need to make a check, but I see that we have a lot of styles depending on the chat bubble and more. The same for settings. So let's give this a try. So let's run the app host and see this one more time. And we can see here that we have the load in the spinner. So if I go here, localhost, okay, so yes, there is something wrong here with this one, but if I ask a question like hi, hey, there it is, we have this, hello, how can I assist you today? Two plus two, ask user two. So now I need to start to do a couple of things, like an example, ask that the, I can ask the, the assistant to make the chat and the text box and the ask question always floating in the bottom of the page, always scroll to the bottom, but literally, in five minutes, generate the CSS, 
did everything that I need, and I can do a lot, a lot of things just with this, which is super, super amazing. So if you want to give this a try, Copilot, Agent, it's an amazing tool. And just talking with the agent, talking with Copilot, you can have a decent user interface. Interface. I am not an expert, but I am super happy here with this. So I hope you like it. Sorry for the fast forward. I'm going to share the repo if someone's interested. Let me know in the comments. And you can have also a chat application for free there. Goodbye.